Hello everybody, welcome back to Language Litigation and Integration Part 31, Down Goes the Champion. <clears throat> uh, Bill Willis, this video is for you. I'm glad to meet you, finally. I asked, I've been asking the front desk staff and the management for a legal contact or a contact with a principal or an owner for like four or five weeks now. Um, but first off, I begin 0% threatening. I'm a prolific scientist and mathematician. I have a very prolific career. Um, I'm just going to be covering the infringements of the lease and reviewing some law. I also run a legal lecture series. Um, plenty of people in your organization or your client, Mike Mayhew, will know much more about that. You can be sure to ask him if you'd like. Um, but currently, I do not have a safe and sanitary uh, place to live. Nor do, nor can I feel like safe in my own home. So let me explain what happened. I don't know two days ago. So, and I'll I'll be, I let me let me pause the video. And I'm going to put up a video of the fly infestation that I had last September. So, Mr. Bill Willis, there you can clearly see, I don't know, 50 to 100 flies just on my living room window. And I lived with that for about, you know, the fly problem wasn't that bad. The, the dates, all of the dates your clients have provided are correct. That's not what I'm debating. The only thing I'm saying is they did not identify the source of the flies. They then, well, they then said that it was resolved because they sent out, they had two service requests. Again, the dates, those, those things are correct. But I work from home, I live here, I am not, I don't go out, like, I didn't go out one day to work, come back, and just see these flies randomly. I work, I, I sit right, you can, if you can, champions can show you an a, apartment layout. I sit in a chair literally adjacent to that window. And the, that amount of flies accumulated while I was sitting there, and they weren't, like, flying through my, my living room. So... Uh, to me, the source has to be somehow the paneling or the wood or the venting. And again, the, the maintenance people came, the pest control came, they analyzed the door, they didn't see anything wrong with it, they sealed it off again, and it did literally nothing. And so, again, the dates are correct, but the source was absolutely never resolved. And then so, yesterday, I get about 10 to 15, 20 flies, and I'm killing them as I see them. So there's not, like, there's nothing... And then I email uh, Lindsay Stevens and say, hey, I'm getting flies again. And now Lindsay Stevens did not even work here when I, I made the first request. And now I say, hey, well, I'm getting flies. And what happened? Oh, she, let me just read the emails. Because again, I'm just trying to cover it from my perspective. But... She basically says, she just, she just says the same things, like she, like when they first came out and addressed it, it didn't address the problem, it didn't even, it's not, it wasn't a competent solution. Like spraying the windows when it's clearly not the window seal, it's not, and it doesn't affect the fly count. So it's just like, the competence of these people was, was not good, the maintenance staff or the um, pest control, and again, clearly just from common sense perspective, not addressing the source of the flies. but. So I email Lindsay and she, she starts saying the same things that the last manager said. And so I said, I, I have a video and I said, I, I went to go show her the video and I go into the front office. The only reason I went into the front office was because the video file was too big. This was to me just a, a, a normal work order for an apartment. Not, not a, weird, so a weird interaction. And then she just immediately, so the elephant in the room is these people think I'm like a Karen. Like, I, 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 I've told them I'm going to sue them before for black mold. I'm a business owner, a substantial business owner. A lease is an agreement. If you violate the lease, I'm going to sue you if it, if it might affect my health. And the black mold is just, I have, still have black accumulation on my, my sink faucet, my, uh, in the kitchen, and in the bathroom, and in the shower. I'll put, I'll put up pictures of that as well, or I'll email them to you. But... 
So again, like, clearly defined in the lease, they have to keep this place sanitary and healthy. And if the maintenance staff cannot competently do that, they're in violation of the lease. Go into the front office to, again, just show her the video. And so these people, like, again, they also, they also ask me for renter's insurance on a policy that doesn't exist, and then say, next time, again, they can show you these emails, your client can provide this information, next time, let us know your policy goes longer. They have a policy on file. Don't you think the front office of a rental company should check the file before asking the homeowner to check the file? Seems like that's their responsibility, not mine. But she says the video of the flies from last September is not relevant. And she says the, the, the two treatments that she was not here for resolved the issue. She's strictly going off of service requests. I live here. I sit in this apartment all day. It was not resolved. And so, then the, and the problem didn't start, like I said, I had a moderate amount of flies, I didn't even notice like there was a problem, you can see I have guitar videos, um, the one about changing the strings, I'm waving around flies, I'm not even, I haven't even addressed that there's a fly problem yet, but so I'm starting to get the flies again, and if it gets real bad in the, in, in the summer, in the sp or late summer, in the early fall, I don't want that amount of flies on my window. Lindsay Stevens and Jenny Donnellan. If you were at your husband's house, or your own house, or your boyfriend's house, or your girlfriend's house, or your wife's house, and that was in, uh, in your sexy time window, would, you, would that be a big turn on? Probably not. And so I just, again, I don't want a fly infestation. That would be really cool. And then again, the big difference here, Mr. Bill Willis, is this is my home. I live here. They work here. And when I sign that lease, the lease, the, the rent money that I pay to this company uh, com comes with the accommodations, comes with the amenities. That's literally how they sell it to you. And so, again, you can, you can read the emails. I don't, I don't apologize for anything I said. Again, I'm a business owner. I, if we're all adults. If someone calls someone else a disrespectful bitch because they've been a disrespectful bitch, that's not like a crime. It's not a threat. Furthest thing from a fr threat. Again, the front office is an extension of the lease agreement of my house and their employee. Um, so, Lindsay Stevens, let me, let me make sure I'm still rolling, and so I, I do want to make the point that I, I directly said fuck you directly to her, but again, as like, a, like, imagine we're friends, Bill Willis, we've known each other for 50 years, and I say fuck you because you tell me there was a fly infestation was resolved and it wasn't. And that's really all it was, I even apologized in, at, at the same time, but then I go out, I, I leave the front, ap front apartment, and then I come back and there's a maintenance guy standing there like security, like I'm a threat. Again, in the most calm, normal tone ever, this is my home. I live here. And so she said, Lindsay Stevens says, you know, I'm gonna have to ask you to, to, to leave the front office. So your client asked me to leave my amenities. That's my right because of this lease that I signed. And I'm not even going to address, again, when they say I'm being vulgar in there, again, no, it's just, this is absurd. This is a profound incompetence to the point where it's affecting my ability to live at my house. Um, so then again, I sent, sent the email. Again, not, even, not, even, not even enough po points to read it. You can read it again. Yes, I 100% sent that email. Again, called her a disrespectful bitch for insulting my house. And then Jenny Donnellan, this is, this is when it goes from genuine harassment, aggressive pressure or intimidation at my house. From my perspective, this, this occurrence is no different. Mr. Bill Willis, if you hired a contractor to come work on your home and they 100% had a legal right to be there, you're paying them money even, and then they start fucking harass, excuse me, they start harassing you, you would tell them to fuck off. Yes or no, Bill Willis, I've never met you. Does that sound like a reasonable thing to do? A contractor comes into your home and starts insulting you. And then it causes you aggressive pressure to the point where you can't stomach food properly. Um, and then I immediately, right after the interaction, went down to Champions, had, had a normal conversation at their front office at Polaris. And then I even went to the FBI office the next day because not even, not, there are other, other legal issues I'm trying to resolve that are, again, being persecuted, prosecuted, or not, I'm prosecuting people. But, um, that's not, not relevant, I'm just covering the, the, your client's legal infringements. But that was harassment from Lindsay Stevens. And then Jenny, Jenny Donnellan 
emails me and says, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to, I'm going to have to re request that you don't come into the front office or the, or the club at all. Workout room, pool, until further notice. Extortion. Do you agree with this definition, Bill Willis? Obtaining something illegally through force or through threats. I do. So now those, those contractors come into your house and they say, they pull out, you know, they, they have their rakes and now they're, they're brandishing their swords and they say, you got to get out. That's extortion. So these are very serious charges. Um, and again, the lease, like they say, the lease is the binding agreement. I have a little triangle. The tenant and the landlord have equal responsibilities. I get a notice for my kayak. I think it's, I'll send you all, also, it's discrimination, trivial charge, don't even care about it. But they told me, they, again, the lease says only patio furniture. And then, they, they, then Lindsay Stevens has also told me that they've sent, you know, remove, removal requests for bicycles as well. And there's clearly bicycles around the neighborhood. Uh, let me make sure I'm still rolling. Uh, so I just, a pretty, pretty quick episode to everybody else. And again, to, oh, the, the other thing is, again, not criminal, but 100% this, this, is, this, is, this needs to be resolved. Um, the, what, I'm, what I'm asking for is a transfer. Um, I have a 10-month lease that just started. I want to I'll be, I, I want to be the lease transferred to a different champion property. Um, well, I don't want compensation for the moving and for the time. And again, I'm a business executive. They probably, again, should probably check the file on that. Um, and I'm not, again, I'm not someone trying to scrounge up a, a petty charge to get free rent for a month. But this is, this is, this is serious. Um, and so, like I said, I want to trans, like, again, I want someone to come in and move all my stuff to a different property. I don't want to deal with these people anymore. Um, again, I'm, I have to pay, I have to pay full rent in the next five days, but I don't have full access to the lease agreement. What is going on? Um, and again, again, to, to Lindsay Stevens and John, Jenny Denelin, I am 0% threatening. I have a ton of other business and stress going on, business stress. And it's just, it's just absurd. Um, and again, I really want to stress, this is my home. I already, already went through that. Uh, but yeah, like I said, settlement. This is, I, this is, this is a legal lecture. I read, this is, these are charges, this is not. I might press these charges. Please offer a settlement and please offer a transfer package. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you, Mr. Bill Willis. Thank you for watching.